What's going on, everybody? Ryan Williams here for the FanDuel Hurry Up, and we are here finally. Oh my goodness, it's week one. We are here finally to talk about some DFS, and I got the DFS main slate studs for you to talk about this week. That's right, three guys that I think you should be trying to get into your FanDuel lineups. Let's kick it off. Let's start off with Dalvin Cook. He's 9,400. All right, so we got Dalvin Cook. He's on the road here going against the Cincinnati Bengals. And if we could chalk up anything to 2020, the Cincinnati Bengals were one of the the poorest run defenses that they were. They allowed nearly nearly five uh, carries to go for 10 plus yards um, uh, against them to opposing running backs. And then we got Dalvin Cook, who was number two in 10 plus yard runs uh, with 46 last year so i think that this this matchup sets up really well for dalvin cook to get going and you're looking kind of just at the slate i mean we got christian mccaffrey back who's a thousand dollars more than dalvin cook people are going to love to play him you got derrick henry at 8900 who's in a favorable matchup against the Arizona Cardinals. And that game is expected to be bananas. So I think that Dalvin Cook's ownership could be suppressed a little bit um, with that price tag. And and I definitely love that. And speaking of uh, Minnesota being a road favorite there, you love that Cook averaged 20 more yards per game and nearly five more carries in Minnesota wins. So that's why I think you should be targeting Dalvin Cook as a main running back in your lineups this week. Let's move it on to wide receiver. And as, as much as it pains me to say to go against the Steelers, I got to talk about Stefan Diggs here, who's 7,900 on the slate. Uh, like I said, going against Pittsburgh and this total has slowly but surely been moving. Uh, I forget what it opened at, but I know it was at 48 and a half. It's been bumped up to 49. And if we can get a high scoring game, uh, going here against Buffalo and Pittsburgh, I think that Stefan Diggs is in for a great day. We know what Pittsburgh likes to do on defense, playing that man coverage. And a lot of people smarter than myself have, have written up Stefan Diggs and plethora over the years about how this guy just dissects man coverage. And you're looking at last year's game that they played against the Steelers. And this guy went for 10, 130 and one on 14 targets. Yes, 10 130 and one and that game total only reached 41 so if this game is going to be explosive i definitely think you can see the the guy who led the league in receptions and yards last year have a great game and that's why i want to talk about stefan Diggs this week and last but not least let's go over to the tight end position one that's always fun to talk about and we got travis kelsey who comes in as the highest priced tight end on the slate and Travis Kelsey I mean is it a no-brainer should we just be plugging this guy in and and not thinking elsewhere at the position I think that Travis Kelsey should have the highest ownership this week and for good reason he's going against the Cleveland uh, defense that has shown they can't stop the tight end position over the years they've allowed the third most fan duel points uh to the tight end position in, in 2020. And Travis Kelsey, when we talk about the Kansas City offense, we know that it's going to one or two guys in the passing game, and that's Kelsey or it's Hill. And because this matchup sets up so well for Kelsey, that's why I'm leaning to it. And because of the tight end position in general, I think that people will try and play Kyle Pitts, who's a, a well 2000 plus discount uh, on Travis Kelsey. But then after that, I'm just looking to get most of the points at the tight end position that nobody else can. I don't want to take a shot, especially in week one. It's the first week. Just give me Travis Kelsey. I'll take my guaranteed double digit points from the tight end position, possibly more with the red zone role that this guy has the second in red zone uh, targets last year. So let me let me fire in some Kelsey this week and and sign it off with that that's gonna do it for the fan duel hurry up again ryan williams here you can find me on twitter at ryan alexander underscore w uh bringing you all of the dfs uh content and fantasy goodness that we can for the fan duel and for your other uh fantasy teams as well all year on the fan duel channel make sure you guys are subscribed and we'll catch you guys next week till then peace